Today I get to present to you the combination of two separate worlds, Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades, and Team Fortress into what is now called Meat Fortress. So in this video I'm going to be going over all of the weapons included in the new update. In a later video we'll get into some of the other features that come with it. So let's start off with the melee weapons quickly because they're somewhat less interesting <laughs> than the guns. So this is the butterfly knife from the Spies Arsenal. If I can get that to open, there we go. It's pretty cool. You can throw it in the backwards grip for the backstabbiness. Let's go over here, take out this unsuspecting clay pot. Ah, woo. Oh, <laughs> I have lost control of my weapon. But there it is. Seems to have taken out another pot or something over there. It's collateral. Ah, it's stuck in whatever you call this floating thing. Let's try and throw this at that tiny pot there. Whoa. Well, not quite. <laughs> it kind of spiraled out of control, but uh, we will perhaps revisit that later. So now we have the Scout's Bat. It makes a very authentic noise. Let's go ahead and Babe Ruth this out of here. Ugh, woo, pretty good. <laughs> Be nice for harassing and bashing some heavies, perhaps. Let's throw that in there just to save resources. Okay, it's going to bounce on the back of that trash can. <laughs> Next up, the Bone Saw from the Medic. I love playing the medic. Didn't have this very often because I unlocked the one that steals uber charge from people. Uh, and doing the, the epic medic combo was quite hilarious and one of the things that I enjoyed doing with friends. Uh, it takes a while to explain, so I will uh, explain that somewhere or perhaps post a link to how that operates. Oh, you know, I'll just tell you guys. So you get the uber charged um, bone saw thing. Takes four swipes or so to get your full uber charge from swiping people. But while you're doing that, you have a team teammate, a friendly medic, uber charge you, make you invincible, so you can go around slashing people, then you should get your charge up to full, and then once you're ready, you go ahead and charge up your teammate, and then let him do that, and if you do that effectively and find the enemies, you can do that ad infinitum, so it's quite fun, quite annoying, but um, cool to try out, I don't know if it's going to work with all the craziness that's going on nowadays with Team Fortress. So here we have the Demo Man's whiskey, or Scotch whiskey probably, because he is Scottish, uh, he's got that Scottish accent, and pretty good. <laughs> it's funny though, bashing this against stuff because you would expect it to explode. And it does play uh, an explodey glass noise, but it seems to be intact. So let's grab the fire axe from the pyro. Running out of pots here, the supporting ones, we can just go ahead and smack them. Nice, I very much loved the the upgraded axe with the barbed wire on it that would allow you to do extra damage to people who are on fire. It was a nice kind of one-two combo. So what do we have next? Kukri from the Sniper. So also another tool to try and deal with any uh, spies trying to harass you and stab you while you're doing any sniping. Let's see what else do we have. The shovel for the soldier. And uh, while we can use this to bash some skulls, we can also use that to clean up our mess. Ah! <laughs> we'll just make them disintegrate. Anything is uh, possible when you have a convenient folded shovel, folding shovel. Looks like it should telescope out a bit too, but don't tell the soldier that. It might be embarrassing. And finally, the wrench from the engineer's weapon stash. Uh, great for bashing enemies and bashing your turrets to full health. And that was a kind of a crazy noise, <laughs> like something exploded. <laughs> but perhaps someday we will get turrets in here that we can upgrade and heal up with our engineering wrench. So let's head into some weapons next. Starting off with the secondary weapons, the Scout's pistol, firing what? The 11 millimeter Manchevskikovovichidev. <laughs> yeah, that's quite an impressive round, I suppose. Never heard of it before, but you know, 10 millimeter, 11 millimeter. Oh, so it's a little bit of an upgrade. Where's the port? Okay, port on the left. Let's try and take out some pop cans. Wow. Okay, shoots a little bit low. Or does it? Kind of hard to interpret the sights here. Because there's no real rear sight. <laughs> but we can try and do the uh, scout reload. How does it work? Kind of have to like, he flips it some direction, maybe down that way and then reloads it up this way and then flips it back. Uh, who knows? But I believe this thing is actually fully automatic in this game. 
<laughs> which is a little bit insane, but that's a lot of firepower in a small package. Cool. I'm going to hang on to this because it is quite fun. No safety though, so we got to be careful. And the SMG. Now, what round is this? The 12 by 32 Dingo Womper. Very Australian themed. This is a, a very cool looking weapon. I imagine it pulls a lot of these elements from other weapons, but I can't identify them at the moment. <laughs> it fires from an open bolt, kind of like a... Eh, I don't know how this would work. Because the ejection port's way behind the rounds. It doesn't really have to work, so <laughs> that's not important. You know, is this doing pretty much the same thing as the pistol? Let's find out. Kind of. I think they have the same... Whoa, what was that? Some kind of crazy ricochet. Always got to watch out for that on the range. I don't know if arms to hold all these. Throw that back. Reload this guy. Take out some steel. Wah! <laughs> okay, all good. Nice. This thing is pretty good. I enjoyed it very much. Uh, well, you know, I like sniping a lot, so having to deal with pesky pyros and other people coming to harass you, that was a necessity, learning how to master the SMG. So now we've got the sticky launcher, and this one doesn't really function the way you'd expect it to. You imagine kind of like thum, 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 and then reloading just like kung, 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 kung. But here we actually have to load this guy up with some stripper clips. Pull that out. Close it up and fire these guys off. Woo! <laughs> so I think we can try and take out this guy here. Oh, need a little bit more range. That should do it. See you later. <laughs> wow, that was sick. <laughs> he disintegrated. All right, good stuff. So we have the sticky launcher. I mean, it is a secondary, but uh, also very devastating. So, you know, as much of a secondary as a secondary can be, that is what that is. I know that sentence doesn't make any sense, but that thing doesn't make any sense either. So I'm going to call it a wash. Now we have um, another non sequitur, the propane. I guess this is propane because we have the propane tank here. It's a very small propane tank, and it's got a flourish on the end, which looks like a muzzle brake. But we have to load this guy up. Woo. And let's turn this down for now while we try and obliterate something. Woo. So we have a concentrated stream of something. Tiny particles. We can up that a bit by opening up this valve. Woo. And it doesn't seem to really hurt clay pots. But it does do a number on enemy hot dogs, the Team Fortress mode, which we will get into in another video. So stay tuned to see this guy actually work in a uh, different scenario. Let's move over to the grenade launcher. I'm going to try and throw these into a set. Looks like I only do three, but that'll make it easier to reload. So let's open this guy up. Now, oddly enough, this is one of the more conventional weapons in the game, despite being uh, still a little bit strange. Let's try and get that hot dog, or at least what's left of him. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> they don't seem to like to explode on impact. Let's hit that tree. Eh, kind of went through the tree, didn't it? What happens if we hit super close? Just bounces away. <laughs> Pretty good fire rate. And what else? There's one hot dog down there. I wonder if I have the range for this. <laughs> awesome. That's really dialed in. Almost like I know what I'm doing. You know, I wonder. I'm going to see if I can try and hit a clay pigeon flying through the air. Whoa! <laughs> Speaking of flying through the air, uh, let's try and hit a regular clay pigeon. And I don't know what else is going on here. Let's just try and shoot some stuff. Any second now. Oh, explode! <laughs> so we have to, I guess, aim a little bit low. Oh, I don't know. I think we might be going a little too hard on this. 
We'll wait for a different gun. Maybe something else will be better suited for that. Something like the minigun, perhaps? Let's give that a try. So we've got, ah, oh, there's a little bit of a bug here loading this up. Kind of lose connection with the gun when you grab this giant drum. Wow! <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can load this up one-handed. There's part of it. Oh, no! Oh, I thought I had it for a second. <laughs> this is terrible. Things just, oh! Come on, get in there! Woo! Oh, thought I had it. All right, maybe let's try and spawn in another one. Come on, we gotta get this to work. It's such a classic. Okay, cool. Didn't lose track of it that time. Let's try again, try and hit some pumpkins. With the heavy's gun. Sasha, as she is known. Oh, -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I think we need more, more pumpkins. That went pretty well. So time between throws low. Uh, everything up super high, because we've got a lot of rounds that we got to use. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we ran out of ammo! <laughs> One got away. Well, actually, a lot of them got away, but that was pretty fun. Um, I think the heavy would be reasonably proud. Let's check out another gun. Keep things moving. The revolver. Now, I mentioned that the uh, grenade launcher was pretty standard, but I would have to say this probably takes the cake for normalcy. Love that sound. Love revolvers. Ooh, I don't really know what's going on with these sights. Hmm, let's see. Let's put it on this tombstone. Whoa, it's going super low. <laughs> huh. All right, well, I'm going to have to figure out how to use this at some point. Because right now, I seem to not know how to shoot it. Alright, things are going a little bit better now. <laughs> cool. So, the Revolver of the Spy. Another cool gun, very classic. I guess they're all classics. <laughs> Especially with the... Uh, the nonsense going on now with all of the non-standard weapons. I can't keep track. I kind of had to get out of Team Fortress once. Things got out of control. I got killed by stuff that was so unknown to me. Let's try and use the soldier's rocket launcher. Get that guy over there. Well, he's pretty dead. <laughs> love this thing. Now, I don't want to even try and rocket jump, but I think that that would be an option. Uh, I don't want to lose what we've got going on here, so maybe a little bit later when I'm more confident in my computer not exploding from sending shrapnel everywhere. Let's throw these. Uh, let's see if we can get the ones all the way in the back. Oh, that was way off. I guess without rear sights, it's kind of hard to tell where they're going to go. They do seem to be dropping a bit, though. So maybe that's not going to be as bad as I thought. Ooh, ooh, that looks good. Oh, that, even that was short. Wow, not so great. Let's just send one off into space. See how far they go before they explode. Huh. All right, I guess they don't explode. So that's just going to, I guess, be in orbit from now on. <laughs> Better watch out for any satellites that we launch into space because we've got a rogue rocket just circling the Earth. Now what is next? The scatter gun. This is the 13 gauge. And I guess that's meant to sound intimidating, but the way that gauges work, that's actually less powerful than a 12 gauge because something like a 20 gauge or 22 gauge. Was that our rocket? <laughs> Finally hit something. <laughs> so it's, uh, I guess, no longer a threat to national security. Let's load this guy up. Now, this is another one that doesn't really function the way that we would expect it to. Because I believe in game, you would just cock it to reload. And it had an infinite amount in there somewhere. Whoa. Huh. Okay, so we've got to... Come on. Oh, this is unbelievable. There we go. Finally got it. <laughs> oh, forgot I have two there. 
So the way this guy works is it has kind of like a six round internal drum. I guess you could think of it like a revolver with two shots per position and three total positions. So it's like one, two, and then we rotate the whole cylinder. We get two more. Woo. Oh. I do like it though, um, even though it's not functioning the way that we would expect. It kind of needs to be slightly normal since there has to be a gameplay balancing aspect to it, which we will see in a later video when we actually have to use these to fight bad guys. But I think the spread on this is actually pretty tight. Okay, I stand corrected. I guess I was cocking it incorrectly. Hard to get used to this strange new functioning mechanism. So two, and then cock it. It does seem to like to drift when I just one hand it. Ooh. They're okay, there we go, on the last shot. <laughs> Ah, no dice. What is next? The sniper rifle. Super cool. Now, what is this one? This is the 18 by 50 millimeter pack a wallop. A very stubby looking round. Throw that in the chest rig and shoot this guy. So now this one, you would expect also to just reload by kind of moving the cocking lever up and down. That's how it worked in game. Uh, as well as that laser, which would get bigger as we stayed on target. I don't know how that would work unless it's like charging up the round somehow. <laughs> it looks like a pretty standard bullet though. So let's try and reach out with this round. <laughs> Woo! Pretty good. So this guy is just a single shot rifle. We can't really load up the magazine. Just got to keep one in there. Pretty basic functioning mechanism. <laughs> Ooh, wasn't confident about that, but it worked out. Woo! Okay, let's go for the far one. Ooh, it is small. Oh, too high. I don't think there's any drop for this guy, which is nice. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Definitely a good one. Let's finally try to take out one of those hot dogs. Ooh, they are small too. Oh, I think I got him. But let's throw another one downrange just to be sure. Yeah, definitely got him. I can hear the cardboard exploding. We've just got a stockpile of weapons up there. And finally, the syringe gun. Uh, running out of space on my chest rig here. Let's load this guy up with some disgusting needles. Or maybe they're clean needles. Who knows? They probably got poison in them or something. That's what I would do. <laughs> But this is another one that I was very keen to use because I played a lot of medic. I tend to gravitate towards support roles, despite the fact that I do consider myself good at damage roles. But I've always thought that being a team player was uh, important, so I would have to resort to this when my teammates refuse to cover me. <laughs> so you can see with the bullet drop, we don't have a whole lot of range. But the amount of syringes means that we can dial it in. Nice. <laughs> so those are the guns that have been added in the Team Fortress update. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to be using them a little bit later, and they're going to be adding some more stuff to the game as well, which will make these even more fun to use. Now, I see over there we've got a pot behind the steel. All right, nice. <laughs> I had to hit this hanging plate to get it out of the way first. Woo! Love this thing pretty cool to fire off stuff that isn't traditional. I mean, it can be fun to like see a gun and be like, ooh, um, I've seen that. I don't know where anything is. I've seen that 1873 lever action. I wonder what that's like to actually fire and then be able to come here and, and you know, play with it in game. But at the same time, you can have that same experience with something like Team Fortress, which doesn't have the most realistic guns, like the, the makeshift propane powered flamethrower. <laughs> Gotta cleanse this area of all of the evil clay pot spirits <laughs> who've given their lives for our amusement. That sounds evil. <laughs> but so I guess on that note, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already and you want to see more content like this. But I'll see you guys in the next video.